hardworking workers in the city. What are the commissioners trying to do? Stop the rest. Stop the stealing. Stop the stealing. Dear brother and sister, we combine here just to say our boys because if there is no driver, there is no TLC. So let's from you. 
What do you think? Are we right or are we wrong? That's wrong! Ask, ask B.G. Matthew, who wrote the book about the business and how bad it is. All right, thanks, Louis. Thank you, Louis. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Driver power. Driver power. Union power. Union power. Union power. Union power. Union power. Union power. Driver power. to be a fight to the end. As baby just said, we got a raise a year ago and now they're trying to take it away. Just remember, on Thursday, we got to pack that hall. They've got to feel the pulse of the drivers of New York City. They've got to understand how angry drivers are with what the TLC is trying to do. This is your moment to come back. This is not right. This is it.
Thorough. Drivers deserve a hard an income. These nothing but men are not hurting. They didn't give one solid reason for wanting these rule changes, which would go into drivers' pockets. This is unconscionable. I ask you, David Yasky. When, when the day of repentance comes, you will have a lot to repent if you approve of these rules. Please, I beg of you, as a citizen of New York, do not approve these rules. Horrible Thank you. Rules. Thank you. That's right. Thank you, Bill. Rules. That's right. Horrible rules. Horrible. That's right, Commissioner. This time. Make laws, not loopholes. Yeah. Make laws, not loopholes. Make laws, not loopholes. We drivers need laws and regulations that protect our families. We have children to feed. We have children to send to school. We are citizens of New York. We work very hard in this city. Taxi Limousine Commission. You must make rules that protect the drivers, not loopholes that facilitates garages and brokers to keep exploiting drivers in a daily basis. Stop the greed of garages and brokers and have mercy on the cab driver that drives 12 hours every single day and keeps this city running 24 hours 7. There is a lot of atrocities going on in JFK and LaGuardia Airport. PLC, do something about it. Taxi dispatchers are taking our money. Stop the greed from taxi dispatchers. Stop the greed from, from the hotel management. They're also sending our fares from to the airport. <laughs> All right, everybody. Union power. 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 So what are the new laws? What are they trying to pass? They are trying to put a new law in that says that a garage driver will have to pay for the repairs of the car. In a, in a garage situation, who wants the damn car? The garage does. Why do we have to pay the repairs? If, if we have to pay the repairs, why are we paying these high leases? So very, very clear. Everybody to move on, to, on Thursday, please make sure you are here for the hearing. Make your presence felt. Make your power felt. What else do they want to do? They want to bring the 5% and the credit card back. What do they, they want to bring the 5% back and what do we have to say to that? No way! They want us to pay for the repairs. What do we have to say to that? No way! No! All the garages and brokers are trying to do is come back from being deeply defeated. Last year when we won, we defeated them. For the first time in the history of New York City taxi industry, we got a fair raise where every single penny went to the drivers. Union power! That's what union power does. And now, after being defeated so badly, they tried to go to court. When they went to court, it became very obvious that they wouldn't win in court because the New York Taxi Workers Alliance intervened as an interested party and said, we will also be heard in this case. So they withdrew the case with prejudice and pushed and kept coming back at the TLC to make these new laws. It's like that stupid thing called additional driver fee that you used to have. It's all these small little loopholes through which they want to push back the lease going up. And what are, what's our answer to that? No way! What's our answer?
once again. No way! Loudly, no! once again. Union power. Union power. Union power. Union power. Talk about the taxi stands, Ken. So brothers and sisters, we're here today because these rules are unacceptable. We're here to say no to these proposed rules. And the reason why is because for the first time, like Bijou said, for the first time, we're getting justice. The Taxi and Limousine Commission, for the first time in 40 years, has set up a lease cap enforcement unit to handle overcharges from garages and brokers. We've gotten back over $50,000 for drivers who have been overcharged. And this is pretty historic. For 40 years, they didn't do anything to regulate these garages. They let them charge what they wanted to. They let the brokers add on the tax stamp, the second driver fee. But now we have a lease cap and we have enforcement. Are we going to let that go? No! So anyone here who's been overcharged by your garage, if you had to pay for repairs, you can file a complaint. If you've been overcharged Go back 
to your garage. Talk to your co-driver. That's right. Talk to your friends. That's right. Tell them, please make your slow heat. Let's come in here Thursday and let David Yaski hear our voice. No, this is a country of freedom. This is a country of soil where it's standing of free speaking. So, what are you going to do? We always say no, and we always will fight for our family because our happy face is NYC happy face. That's right. Yeah. NYC. For years, all of the drivers in the city were sick and tired of being ignored by the TLC, of being cheated by, by their garages, being treated by brokers, all to bust their ass for 12-hour shifts, six days a week, seven days a week, no health care, no benefits, no overtime, no assurance that even after driving for 12 straight hours, for 12 straight hours, that you would even have minimum wage, no assurance that you would even have have something to take home at the end of the night. Finally, we got some justice last fall. Are we going to let them take it away? No! What are we going to do? We are going to fight back. We're gonna fight back. Boy, That's right. Boy. So everybody here today is going to go back
we stand for the next Irin. Please, please, next 18, May 18, everybody coming more than today. May 16, sorry. Everybody coming more than today. Please, we stand. Please. Thank you so much, guys. Seven years 
to salute your brothers and sisters for your hard work. You are our heart. You are the reason we do what we do. And you are our fist. You are the power that we hold. We love you. We salute you. And together, we shall prevail. 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 Union power. Union power. Union power. How we know to fight back. Thank <laughs> you.